Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set up the configuration for the smart research into hand to node 4 and also give you guys some guidance on how to study properly with this very powerful tool either for doing mass database analysis or just for reviewing your your own game, your own database. So let's get started. When you purchase the pack, you will get this zip file. You have to extract here. And as you can see, you get these two folders. One configuration for hand to node 3 and another one for hand to node 4. So as you can see, this package is compatible with both hand to node versions, but we're going to work with hand to node 4 here. So when this is done, another important thing you have to do is to log in into your hand to node profile in the official hand to node website and copy your license key. So you go to hand to node tree that hand to node dot com, go to your profile here and your serial key, you have to copy. So select all just copy and in hand to node go to configuration here other and here you have to paste your serial key okay once you paste it uh, a register button will appear just click it and it's all done okay so now we're going to import the package so for this, you have to go here in tools and import package from file. We have to go to hand to node for config and select this file, smart research. And this is the current version. Just click it, open, and the import will start. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. Probably, um, a pop-up will appear that says the, the, the hand to node restart is required. So you just restart hand to node, open it again, go to configuration. And now in game types, in the pop-up, in your game type, if you play No Living Holden, PLO or PLO 5 car, just select your game type, select the smart research pop-up in the pop-up section, and it's all almost done now the only thing we have to do is to rebuild statistics so click here in import and select clean and rebuild statistics click yes and do it for all time and then start building all right guys the installation is done so now I'm going to show you how you can use this tool for reviewing your own game or reviewing your stats or if you want to study some specific spot. You have to move to statistics tab and here we have the smart research pop-up. If you cannot see this, make sure you have selected the smart research package here profile and also select your player or your alias right so here we have we are in the general tab we have the hero nickname the amount of hands the win rate in big blinds and the win rate on eb bb per hundred okay so we have the general stats we have some reference here the blue colored stats are passive values red are loose values and if it's in gray, it means that the statistics are okay or they are in a standard values, right? So we have one statistic here that is colored in blue, that is 4 bit, 13, a little bit low. Um, for the low stakes, I think 14 plus or 15 plus will be okay, but 13 is quite low, so it's red in blue this is quite helpful so when you start study the first thing you have to check um, 
are this. I mean, the, these are the uh, the overall, the basic, basic stat you have to check. Uh, BPP, PFR, the 3 bit and 4 bit etc. And here in the in the right we have a more detailed table for the overall statistics. For the flop, turn and river we have the overall single reset in 3 bit bots and in 4 bit bots. Okay? And we have a little explanation here that all actions are pure. That means turn and river stats are based on any action in the previous streets. If you want to go to uh, very specific lines, we have here all the statistics. We have the open race tab, all nodes that can have from an open race, starting with the preflop. We have a tab here and separated by position. EP, MP, cutoff, button, and some specific stats against another positions. And single race set in position, we have the total, the total stab, the, the bets, the check behind, check behind, and fold versus different sizings against the dunk bet and sizing distributions for C bets. C bets less than 40% of the pot, two tiers to three quarters, half pot and over bet. We have the multi way too and you can filter this by positions. The same stats against different positions and for textures. Right? So you can explore different stats in different spots in a very detailed way and you can do the same for the rest of the spot. Single race it off the position, you can have the, the the total, you can filter from position and for textures. And the same for all the all spots. Trivet color in position, positional and textures, trivet color of the position. And the same against an open race. We can start for the pre-flow. We can filter positions and see the responses against different sizing and call calls in position, of the position and all spots. Guys, you have here more than 18k of statistics, so you can study basically all spots. But let's go back to the general, right? And let's see, for example, let's take the river. I think it's a very important street we have to study. And let's see, for example, the overall, we have a bet code of 43 and, and 40 in single race pot. So if we click in this stat, we have more detailed information here. We have the, the stat value and the diagram, and we won a hand 40% of the times. 99% went to showdown because we always went to showdown in this stat and 40% of uh, one money at showdown with in this stat. This is quite low, of course. Let's say, for example, our top pair weak kickers, we can an 18% if we click in this color bar. The hands will appear here and we can review our hands. The same for the over pairs and for two pair plus. So we can see we are just uh, losing a lot in this line on bed call river. So now we can just uh, hover over the first hand, right click and open hand in the replayer and we can start reviewing our hands. And of course, we can replay the hands and see how we are performing against the bed call on the river and a single race pod. And this is how we can start reviewing our hands. And see, for example, the hands, we, we are losing too much big lines on the river. 
for example, this one. Second variable called, and probably this building has a better flash now. Yeah. Let's see one more. Oh, check. So this is how you can study, let's say, let's see another example. Uh, for example, the river in Triviate bots, the call on the river. Let's click the 39. And let's see how we are playing our uh, top pair top kickers, for example, or top pair weak kicker over pairs yeah for the over pairs we see that we are losing a lot in this let's see this these hands pocket 10 seven race three bit call 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 and yeah so as we can see for this hero is losing a lot in the river either for call or just bet calling so it's a big leak we have to fix it here yeah so this is how we can start a study with the smart research we can uh, select the different uh, here in the range tab select missed overcards select any any hand strain and start exploring where we are losing uh, money, especially on the river. So this is uh, the small pairs. So again, as we can see, we are losing a lot. So the river is the is the spot that this hero needs to focus more. And if you want to see a more specific stat, for example, let's see we are cold calling in the big blank Angus Baden. We have to go to versus open race, cold call of the position, select the positional, select big blind and big blind versus Baden. Okay, let's close this. And we are big blind versus button. And let's say, for example, we can see the prop turn when we the button checks, we prop the turn and we bet again in the river. So we go to we have the pro statistics, prop turn, prop river, and below we have prop turn plus bet river. Just click the 65 and we can see the hand. Let's say, for example, the miss trash. We click on this and we can see how we are playing our miss trash hands. Let's replay the hands. Bad versus miss, over bad, pull. Okay. Okay. And this is how we can start filtering more detailed lines. Let's see, for example, the triple check call the, or call against three barrels. We have to go to versus Sivet out of position and see the triple check call. This is that check call, check call, check call, river, click it. And here we have, we can just directly click the hands tab and just replay all and see if we are winning or losing. And here is how we can start a study, basically any line.
Right. Let's move now to the multiple player reports or how to make a proper mass database analysis with the smart research in Handnote 4. So what we have to do is to select, uh, click here, and in this tab select multiple players, right? So here we can set different uh, parameters for our research. Let's say we want to study all regulars in our database. So I can, uh, I have a some kind of small database here. So if, if you have a pretty big database, which is recommended for, uh, for MDA purposes, I recommend you to set 1K or 2K plus enhance. But for this sample, uh, I'm going to leave it for uh, 500. And BPAP, I can set 15 to 30 will be OK. And PFR, 15 to 25, I think it's OK. And this parameter, BPAP, PFR means the the gap between BPAP and PFR. So I think uh, set a threshold of eight will be okay. So what we are telling to hand to node is to filter all players that match that match these parameters. Okay. Of course, we can add some. Uh, more parameters that net one EB, EB win rate, uh, for example, if we can, if we want to study um, the best regulars, we just simply select this and put five EB, uh, EB plus, and the Hanson will filter the best regulars or the regulars that are winning more, but uh, let's uh, leave it as yeah, with with the basic parameters. We can also set for one from hero and another things like the game types, the room, a market, fish rec, etc. But let's leave it here and click on apply. And now the hand to node will compute all the players and create an unique alias for all the parameters we set. All right, so we have um, 304k ends. The win rate of the average regs is 7, and EV win rate is 7.8 in these parameters. Uh, everything is quite a standard in the general statistics. And now we can start exploring different things for the open race and against an open race. Uh, let's see, for example, here in the preflop against an open race, we have we, we are in the overall tab. And look at the tree bet uh, from the big lane against button is a general tree bet of 10. And is B against button is 14. So the average regulars in my database are tree betting 4% more in ASB against button than BB against button. So this is pretty interesting, especially when we want to uh, start for betting, we can start for betting a lot more against small blind than the big blind. That's a very nice uh, adaptation or exploit. And if we click, uh, we can see the range the trivet range, the calling range, the bet sizing, and we can see the hands. And we can do the same for the rest of the, the statistics. Let's close this. And see, for example, we can study the single race set in position, okay? So we can say, all right, uh, we want to see uh, the triple barrel, the total. We can see that bet B, B, B means bet, 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 the triple barrel, which is simply 
click on the 48 and we can see the the stat value and the percentage of weak hands so this line contains only seven percent of weak hands which is a, a very low now very low percentage that means that it's a line very very under bluffed and we can see the range we can see the board textures when the river is an ace, when the turn is an ace, when the flop is an ace high, when the river is a Broadway, when the turn is a, is a Broadway overcard, when there is one Broadway on the flop and the turn and river are low cards, and see with the rest uh, we have plenty of board runouts on the river that we can explore and bet sizings. For the overbeds, 80% to a pot bed, 60% to 80% of the pot, but this is a way, way under bluff spot. Of course, we need more sample because I have a very small database here, but uh, having millions of hands, we will have more, more accurate data. So for example, let's say the the average rig is checking and betting 33% of the pot, 5.1% of the time, and we can click on the 5.1, and now we have 65% of weak hands. Okay, so we can start check raising against the bet. This means the the delay see it on the turn, check and bet. On the turn and it contains a lot of weak hands 35% of weak hands almost 6% of ace high and 18% of trash we can explore uh, the boards bed sizing and see the hands but 65% of weak hands we can start check raising a lot against this sizing and also we can see uh, more detailed lines, for example, the incising distributions. For example, when the, the billion bets less than 40% of the pot or one third and overbets the turn and overbets the river, and which is this stat, the bet, bet 100 plus and bet 100 plus. 100 plus means overbet. 21% and we have a very low sample when we have only two hands in my database and we can just replay the hands so all red and yeah of course the nuts overways set Yeah, so we're going to start exploring different lines that are more specific. And we can do the same when the when the player is the gold color, for example, bottom versus uh, big line versus bottom. And we can see the check fall on the flop, 44, check call, check fall on the tour, 42%. And we can take these numbers and compare it, for example, with the solver, either GG Wizard or Pio Solver, just whatever, and just compare the uh, how much the population is folding, comparing to GTO values, and make the, the proper adaptations to that. So that's how we can start studying with the, the smart research. Of course, this is... Uh, these are the general set. We can see these more detailed lines with different sizings. Uh, for example, the first one is against a 32% sizing of the position. Check fall against one third, check call one third, and check fall the turns for the eight. Check calls one third, check call the turn, and check fall the river. 60%. This is quite high. We can take advantage of this. And we have a ton of very detailed statistics for different flop sizings 
check calls, check check faults, check races, um, etc. etc. We can see the, the hand metrics. And we can do the same for uh, the not common stat like like isolations. We can see the isolation sizing, isolation against um, one limper and against two limpers and explore the, the range, for example, in the button. We can see here the race range and the calling range. And we can compare, for example, against one limper and against two. Uh, the fall against a tree bed, call versus tree bed, forward nodding against a, a tree bed. So we can explore uh, any, just any spot, the isolation in MP, isolation in cutoff, in button, ESB, BB, big blind versus small blind. This is quite useful. We can see versus isolation, how player reacts when isolates a fish and faces a tree bed in position and out of position. We can take a, a look to the matrix and see the calling range and um, the forward range. And of course the limp for studying recreational players. So another common thing uh, in this example we uh, set parameter for studying regulars, but let's say we want to study recreational players. We go back to the to here and go to multiple play players, and let's put uh, two hundred hands or three hundred and BPAP. We're gonna put uh, BPAP from twenty five to uh, to one hundred and PFR. This is a very, uh, as I always said, uh, the PFR is a very volatile stat for uh, recreationals. I, I mean, there are recreational that has a 10% um, of free for plays or 40. So we can just leave it as uh, from zero to 100. We want to include all of them. And here we have to invert the this stack. We can put a BPAP PFR gap from nine to hundred. So this will filter more recreational players. And we can also set a expression, but I think it's not necessary now. So uh, of course I will make another video for how to use expression for a more detailed filtering, but let's just leave these parameters and click apply. And now hand to node will filter all recreational players with PAP more than 25 and 9% more of gap. And we can see we start seeing a lot of more colored general stat BPAP of 38, PFR of 16, Trivet 5.5, pretty recreational statistics. And we can see, for example, on the limb tab, we can see how they are behaving when they are uh, the limpers. So for example, the limb is a total of 14. And the next actions are the fall, call and raise. These are the next actions when the fish faces an isolation. So they are falling overall 28%, calling 67 and raising just 5.1%. We're gonna explore for different positions and see when they limp call, when they are in position and when they are out of position. It's very interesting to see when we isolate, when, when we are in position and we isolate the fish. It's a pretty common line that fish takes that they start dunk bedding. So we can start exploring their dunk beds. Uh, the check call dunk bed, check call, check call dunk bed. Uh, dunk bed and fall, the check fall, check call, check fall, and start looking at very specific lines when we are 
studying against a fish and of course we can make the same when in position and for the open race versus open race we can see how they are playing play flop against an open race and when they are open races and the same for the rest of statistics so this is a this is an, an overall guide on how to use smart research either for mass database analysis or studying your own metagame studying your i mean studying your own statistics it's a very powerful tool um from now hunter not 4 is in beta stage and it's free for everyone all the premium features such as the range research um, or multiplayer reports and the diagrams and all function functions are for free now um, I don't know there is no ETA for the official release but if you are seeing this video we are on December 18 so you can just download hand to note 4 and use it for free purchase this package and start improving your game I will leave the links uh, behind this video. So hope you guys find this uh, guide useful. Um, sorry for taking so long, but it's a uh, quite. There are a lot of statistics and showing everything in a short video. I think is almost impossible. So sorry if I took too long, but this is an overall guide for the smart research. If you, if you have. Any questions, any doubts, just message me on my Discord, my Telegram, or send me an email. Uh, I'll be happy to help you and respond your your questions. So, yeah, hope you're, you're doing great at the tables, guys. Good luck and see you in the next video.